Hi everyone, that behind me is the Quinana Freeway. It's very loud. Constant lines of traffic going along here, northbound, southbound, our main freeway. Why are we here today? Let's maybe move over where it's a little bit quieter, over, over this way. So for anyone that watched my last video on the country road trip, I was very excited to see Tesla's new software navigate on autopilot. But unfortunately on those country roads, the feature did not work. It needs to be a set freeway. Nope, it's not doing it. Looks like it's really only useful on freeways. Tell me, Editing Michael. That's correct, Filming Michael. It's only on highways that have on and off ramps. That's why I'm here today checking out the Quinana Freeway. Navigate on autopilot, which has the ability to enter and exit the freeway using software to assess the safety, make sure that we can safely navigate and merge with traffic, which I'm very, very keen to see. So why am I excited about this? Well, to be fair, most modern cars do have autopilot these days, which includes traffic aware cruise control which gives the car the ability to speed up and slow down depending on how close it is to their traffic and auto steer noisy so i'm excited because this is what separates a tesla from all other vehicles and i'm very keen to check it out so come along with me let's do it Navigate on autopilot, it's using indicator as it's forming one lane. One lane is formed, you might want to turn that left indicator off. Ooh, it's a bit long. Okay, there we go, increasing speed, vehicle there. Upcoming lane change, confirm to follow route. And changing lane, merging onto the freeway. <laughs> indicator off, navigating on autopilot. <laughs> Indicating. Exiting. Doing so good. Now I have told it to go to the left here. Will it pick a left lane? That I'm really curious to see. Okay, slowing down to 70. Exit so far is going good. Navigate on autopilot ending in 200 meters. Holy crap. It actually picked the left lane. Navigate on autopilot ending in 50 meters. Oh, that's a red light. Is it going to stop? Crap. <laughs> okay, it didn't stop at the red light. I took over. <laughs> at least now we can answer that question. Does navigate on autopilot also recognize traffic lights? No, it doesn't. Now let's try merging back onto the freeway. No, this is a really long entrance. So let's have a look at this on-ramp. Navigating on autopilot. Ac oh, activated. It's gone to one line. Come on, increase speed. Okay, it's indicating. Increasing speed. There is a car there. Oh, they've passed. There we go. And confirm with gear stalk or turn signal. If I press autopilot down, it has. Whoa, that was a bit abrupt. That was definitely pretty abrupt. Oh, I didn't really like that. It was more of a jerk instead of a nice move. All right, 400 meters to the exit. 200. Oh God, it really leaves it late to indicate. All right, there's the indicating. Exiting. Smooth. Okay, is it gonna slow down now to 100? Slow down more, slow down more is to go to the right here. Navigate on autopilot is ending in 100. 75, coming up to the red light. Zero, navigate on autopilot has ended. Autopilot navigation complete. It's come to a complete stop. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Okay, so that one was a really good example where we can see the smarts of Tesla software. That's much more impressive, much better than autopilot. I'm starting to get it now, I like it. Important point there, just remember this is not making a vehicle autonomous, it is purely there as a driver assist and it's making sure that you are making the decisions as the driver. So therefore, I'm going to indicate and clear when I turn on here, all right. Activating navigate on autopilot. Ah, interesting. It knows that we're going into 110 zone. Okay, come on, ready to take control. 
It's going to be a little bit faster. All right, looks like we've got a gap. I can see it looks clear, coming to an end, clearing with an indicate, changing lanes, indicator off, staying in there. So that's the trick. Definitely use the indicator to confirm that you have cleared it and making the decision to transfer into the other lane rather than the car waiting for the last moment. Much better. We can see a little preview where the Tesla wants to overtake this vehicle doing 90 and 110 zone, showing that it can change into the other lane and confirm. But I'm not gonna do that now. For my next video, I'm gonna plan a really long drive to the country and I'm gonna count how many times that feature is useful. So if you'd like to see that video when I make it coming very soon, make sure you subscribe. Okay, here we go, 400 meters to the exit, 300. Oh, I do wish it would indicate a bit earlier, 200. 170, indicating, clearing, turning. That was a perfect exit. All right, let's continue it going. Let's see it slow down and it's just hand over to autopilot. So I'm gonna turn off autopilot. Okay, that one was pretty good. That was really nice and smooth. It didn't get us all the way to the end of the off ramp. I would assume that's because this one ends at a roundabout instead of a traffic light. Yes, WA has weird roads. Yes, we do have at the end of a freeway at roundabout. <laughs> Here we go for the final entrance onto the freeway. Let's wish us luck. Autopilot activated, confirming one blue line, which confirms navigate on autopilot. Speed increasing to 110. Oh, it's a beautiful long ramp. Oh, there's traffic. And we can see it sees the traffic. Assessing the lane, confirm with indicator. Smooth transfer. Yes! Okay, that works really well. I've got to admit, that works really, really well. I've got to say, my summary is I'm pretty impressed. So there you have it. That's Navigate on Autopilot, at least the part being able to merge on and off of freeways. I think overall, it's quite good. Is it perfect? No, absolutely not. But it is a beta feature and I think it'll get better over time. I certainly look forward to using a lot more of it. If you did like this content, find it useful or educational or even just a bit of fun, please go ahead and hit the like button. If you'd like to see any more content, including my upcoming video of overtaking other traffic, make sure you subscribe. Thanks so much for watching everyone. See you later. Bye.